Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Um, today is Tuesday and Keisha's actually finished work early today and half is off today. So we're gonna have a little bit of a girl's afternoon. <laughs> we're gonna be hanging out today during the day for once. And we're going to go to the car wash, y'all. We're gonna parking lot pimp at the car wash. It is a beautiful day outside. Today is actually 17 degrees Celsius and the sun is shining, it is warm. So we figured everybody could get out the house, get some fresh air go somewhere that Marley will be able to hang out with us. So we're gonna go <laughs> to the car wash. I know that doesn't sound like a big deal, but um, can I make a confession to you guys? These are my confessions. I haven't washed my car in over a year. There, I said it. If I'm being completely honest, and if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this. I hate my car, so I don't really treat her well. I have a grateful hate relationship with that car and i say grateful hate because it's not a love hate like i have no love for the car but i know somebody's gonna say tony you should be grateful you have a car some people don't didn't say i'm not grateful for it grateful for everything in my life however i hate it <laughs> it's getting to the point though that it's very very messy um i hate my car for a number of reasons number one that bitch is high maintenance okay um do not recommend zero stars <laughs> i wouldn't get another bmw or at least i wouldn't get another x series i've had two i've had the x5 and the x3 and yeah it's problems always like they just wake up and choose violence that's number one number two um although it is my car purchased with my money only my name is on the title um, which was, to be honest, majority of major purchases during the course of my marriage. That's what happens when you marry a bum, you know? Love will make you do some crazy things. Yeah, anyways, all that to say, even though it is my car, you know, when you're married, any major purchases that you're making, especially if it's something that the other person will use or be affected by, you typically have a conversation and take that person's input into account. So technically that was the last purchase or last thing that I have that has his input. You know what I mean? That was purchased quote unquote together even though it's my car. Um, so I also hate it for that reason. <laughs> and I will definitely, definitely be getting a new car. I'm speaking it into existence. I'm just waiting for my season of abundance because since about 20 since about 2000 and hmm my goodness how old was i i haven't had a car note in over a decade we'll just say maybe close to 15 ish years that was the last time i purchased or financed a car ever since then i purchased cash because i don't like having a car note I, it's just personal. I just like to purchase with what I can afford, you know, straight up. Straight up, now tell me. And so that's what I mean when I say I'm waiting for my season of abundance so that I can go ahead and just drop a couple stacks on a new car and get rid of this car that I hate out of my life for good so yeah if any of you um know where i stay at it's in the driveway doors unlocked keys in the glove box jk unless you go and do it marley you want to say good morning marley do you want to say good morning she's snoozing on the chair as usual oh my god you guys look I took my braids out. I'm not a redhead anymore. And I have not worn a puff in ages. Cute little car wash outfit, joggers. Little pop smoke watercolor tee. My distressed denim jacket. Is it too early for slides? It's not summer. It's not hot outside, but I love slides. And my puff. 
All right, y'all, I am on route. I've got my co-pilot in tow. There she go, there she go. So I'm actually gonna go to the courier to drop off my packages first, that way the car's empty, so I can get a nice vacuum in there, and then I'll go meet Keisha and um, half at the car wash, so headed to do that now. At the car wash, working at the car wash, there is Marley right there. Can you see her? Car wash, yeah. Are you ready to be terrified? Roll up your window and trap you. Make sure all my windows are up. All right, guys, let's wash the outside. Good morning guys, happy the next day. Um, yeah, it's Wednesday I believe. I didn't vlog much, actually I didn't vlog at all after I got home from washing the car and stuff like that, but I did have a very long day. That's why I didn't really pick up the camera afterwards. I actually look hella crazy right now. Not even gonna show y'all my face right now so you're gonna get first person tony today i have a lot of work to do today so i think i'm gonna start with coffee i normally don't drink coffee i'm a, I'm a water drinker to be honest tea and water is pretty much the only beverages in my you know diet but sometimes sometimes you just you need coffee i'm so tired that um last night Last night when I got in, I didn't actually... Let me move. This is going to get loud. You guys can look at my beautiful plants while I talk to you. Last night when I got in, I was so tired. I left all my stuff in the cart, including my camera. So, I'm not even going to go out there and get it, y'all. I am vlogging from my phone. Shout out to that new phone quality. Okay, girl. Oh my gosh, you know what I never showed you guys? Oh, did you guys spot it? I got a new lamp. How pretty is she? She was a random find. I was not looking for her, y'all. She came looking for me. She is stunting. Just stunting. This was a winner's find. Um, I just I just knew I had to have her. I couldn't leave her. The funny thing is... um. If you guys follow me on my decor page, then you would have already seen this. Daily Dot Decor on Instagram. But yeah, girl, I saw this in the store. I could not leave it. The funny thing is, as soon as I picked it up, this white woman started following me around the store. Like, because every time I put it down, she'd like get closer to me. I was like, ah, 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 ah. you can't get in. You can't get on. Do you have a wristband? <laughs> you know, like, relax, lady. I'm taking this home. So I knew for sure I wanted it. I came and put it in this spot just to see how I felt about it even left the price tag on just in case just in case i went back but no she is staying with me she looks great she really goes with my whole you know i would describe myself as modern boho so i feel like she's giving modern boho vibes and just really is pulling the space together girl anyways molly's trying to come inside Can you guys hear how loud Marley drinks? Oh my God, girl, slow down. Anyways, here's my coffee. 
two sugars, two creams. That is how I take my coffee. It's called a double double here in Canada. Thank you to Tim Hortons. Let me know what you call this, where you're from. If you go up to the window and order a double double, what will you get? All right, we're downstairs in the workspace. Marley is snoozing on the job as usual. Right, Mar? You and Henrietta and Daquan chilling. So excuse my messy desk, but it is a restock day. So first thing I'm gonna do is get started on getting these earrings that I finished packaging yesterday up onto the site. Oh, I've got a new style too. Let me show you. Spirals. I love these. These are going to look great for summer. Okay, next I'm working on packaging. These are some boxes that I ordered that I have to put together because I plan on restocking some wigs. Um, I'm going to be restocking the Gabe wig. The big chop wig, the Tony extra small wig, and some Tony tails because I've been out for a while. So I just want to get these boxes um, put together. I thought I would lighten it up a little bit for spring. These are the current boxes that I'm using. I've been using these for about two years now. You can see this is the Afro Puff hat. This is the Akushka. So yeah, this is how they currently look, but we're gonna try something new. Let me show you what I had in mind. What you think? Just have to make sure they stick. That's kind of cute. Either that or maybe on the inside right here. So when you open the box, you see it. I don't know. I think that looks cute though. And then I can put the shipping label on the bottom. This is how much I've done so far. I didn't count them, but I think it's about 100. Um, I have not labeled them yet. So because it's starting to tilt, I think maybe I'll label these ones and then continue on. I don't, yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so um, I run into a problem. Unfortunately, those stickers, they're not sticking to this surface like, the cur I don't know what to call this, like the unfinished type of box. Like it needs like a more finished surface, like shiny, like, I don't know. It's just not working out for me. So I'm going to leave them plain for now <clears throat> and figure something else out. And then I think I'll just probably include the stickers in like my packages and earring orders and stuff like that. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and start restocking these wigs.